Over in Equatorial Guinea, teams are preparing for their second round of group games. Our correspondent Andy Richardson has been with a very happy Zambia team in Bata. Well, it was here at the Bata Stadium in Equatorial Guinea that Zambia got their Cup of Nations off to a real fly with a somewhat unexpected win against Senegal. It's a win that's put Zambia top of their qualifying group, already in a good position to qualify for the quarterfinals. We've been spending some time with the players, and as you can imagine, they're in really good spirits right now. But this squad, more so than many other teams at the competition, have come here with a lot of responsibility on their shoulders. A group of footballers with every reason to be enjoying themselves. Zambia's 2-1 opening day win against Senegal surprised many, but within this squad, nothing less was expected. Their coach is Frenchman Hervé Renard, a man who spent most of his career working in Africa. He's back in this job for a second time, and after taking Zambia to the quarter-finals two years ago, he believes they're now ready to go even further. The reason why I came back to this country is because I think we have the potential to do better. Otherwise, I don't think uh, I was coming back. That means uh, I believe on this squad, I believe on this player. Uh, they have a fantastic spirit. Now we have to do it because talking is easy, but uh, action is different. And this Zambia team isn't just playing for its future at this Cup of Nations. It's also a squad aiming to honour its country's history. In 1993, Zambia had assembled arguably the best squad in their history. They were strong contenders to qualify for the World Cup. Well, in that year, they were flying to a World Cup qualifier via nearby Gabon. That plane crashed, killing all 18 players on board. The ambition of this squad is to qualify for the final of this Cup of Nations that will also be played in Gabon. We still need to work. You know, we, we don't need just to, to cry for the souls of the, of the, the players who, who, who perish in Gabon, but we still to work. But, but the spirit is still with us. I, I think we will try our best, you know, to make the, even the families, uh, you know, more better, you know, to, to take out the tears from, 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 from their eyes. Now the final is in Gabon, in Libreville, but only the final for us. It's the 12th of February. I hope the 12th of February, uh, the flag of Zambia will be there. It's our dream. The next step in that quest will be another win in their upcoming group game against Libya. Zambia's match against Libya coming up at this stadium on Wednesday. And that day we'll also see the co-host Equatorial Guinea back in action here in Bata. They take on Senegal. Equatorial Guinea, I think, surprised even themselves by winning their opening match against Libya. Never before had they played at a Cup of Nations. The win also meant they picked up a million dollar bonus given to them by the president's son. As for Senegal, well they were fancied by many to win this tournament, but after their opening defeat, they're under pressure just to stay in the event.